woman, 17 dogs, and a dream of victory. News 8's Tina Detail caught up with a Valentine woman who is training for a grueling 250 mile race. <laughs> This is Gage right here, and he, along with all his teammates, are, as you can see, friendly, they're fun, and boy, are they fast. <laughs> These guys and gals are raring to go. They have this energy, and they want to do this. I mean, they want to do this so much that if something happens on the trail and you ask them to stop, stopping is something they don't ever want to do. We'll show you them in action in just a bit. Gage, you really? A team of 17 made up mostly of race Siberians and a couple of Alaskan Huskies. You ready to run? Becky Tucker takes this training session to Patchogue State Forest. To have the woods to yourself and be with your dogs and watch the sun come up, and it's a great feeling. After suffering a life threatening head injury, she fought back and has now become a top notch musher, conquering the Can Am 100 with hopes of competing in the 250 in Fort Kent, Maine in March. If you'd asked me 10 years ago if I'd ever run like even a 100 mile race, that would be too much. So it is, this is my passion. Hup, hup, hup. A passion which can be pricey. Food, equipment, and a diesel truck all add up. Sponsors would help a lot. Training starts every fall. Uh -huh. By the way, that Can Am 250 is a qualifying race for the Iditarod, the Super Bowl of dog sledding. Let's go home. I thought, why not? Let's, let's try it. Shoot for the stars. As you can see, it takes a lot of work and a lot of money to train these dogs. Now, later in the week, Tucker is hoping to pack them all up again and head up north, head to New Hampshire, because up there she doesn't have to use this ATV. She can use the sled. Up north, they actually have people who groom trails 30, 40, 50 miles of free running. In Voluntown, Tina Detell, News 8.